Stop it. You know I don't like that sort of thing. Buenos dias. We say good morning here in England. So, today's the big day. My birthday's tomorrow, then. I'm not talking about your birthday. Today's the day you prove that our heritage is secure. Feeling uh, prepared? Yes, sir. But I feel very confident. That's my girl. Hard working businesswoman. Worthy carrier of the family surname. Well, it's your surname, not Mum's. My dear, don't you think that uh, if my company had been named with your mother's surname, it might have been a bit, you know, third world. And your mother would be glad to know that there's another coimer coming into the business. Dad, how do you know how Mum would feel? I don't know how she'd feel. I just know how she should. Well, you need to know everything about her while well, I know nothing instead. Right. Uh, it's getting late and time is money. Good luck with your interview. Gracias. Ah, there she is. How did your day go, my dear? It was great. Amazing. Yeah, I saw some dancers performing in the street earlier today. It was m magical. And how did it go with the... It was, they were dancing, dressed in these beautiful... The interview? I was late for that. Anyway, one of them... Anna, shut the... F Anna, you're telling me you didn't go to the... You didn't go to the interview? No, I was busy doing something else. Busy? Watching people sing and dance like fucking hippies. Busy admiring people express their culture. Who cares about culture when you have money to earn? Your stupid sensitivity is not going to get you a job. That's how your mother died in poverty. So now you want to talk about her? Why don't you tell me more about her? Why do you only mention her to shame her? Because I don't want you to be like her! <gasps> now. When you are a trader, you'll understand that if you can't convince somebody to grant you what you deserve, you can always buy it. Now, go back to that office tomorrow, 
Tell them Francis Coimer said hi. Anna, I, th I thought that keeping it secret would, would have kept you with me. I, my job in Peru was done when the lithium mine I owned had run out most of the land's water resources. I proposed to your mother that we should raise you together here in England, but she told me that her roots were tied to her land. So she stayed there. It was in everybody's best interests. I mean, here you could you grow up with all the privileges that people dream of down there. You took me away from her. You tried erasing all trace of her. You destroyed our home. Darling, it was the third world. It was her world. A place buzzing with fragrances that I can't imagine. Landscapes that I can't remember, and songs that I've never heard. Yet somehow, I felt like it was calling for me, making me feel nostalgic for a, a life that I've never lived. Whereas the one that you brought me up in was just so full of lies! What's the purpose of granting me a future full of privileges, when all along you denied me the most important thing? My right to know my past. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My mom wished me a happy birthday, and I want to thank her. Wandering and wandering, between doubts and between hopes, exploring new worlds and enjoying the views from up above. This is what I seek, and this is what I'll find. I don't know how long this journey will take, and I don't know how many pitfalls I'll face along the way. The only thing I'm sure of is that this journey, one day, will lead me where I belong. Home.
and I will meet you there, Mum. <laughs>